In this video we will practice modeling functions. So we will use our TI-84 to come up with a function that best fits the data. This is AP Pre-Calculus Topic 1.13 and 1.14. If you appreciate this content, please show it by hitting the like button. Number 1. Justin Tucker, the kicker for the Baltimore Ravens, is considered one of the greatest kickers in NFL history. On a recent kickoff, the height of the ball in meters was measured for selected times. This data is shown in the table above. Part A. Based on this situation and the data presented in the table, would a linear, quadratic, or cubic function be most appropriate to model this data? Give a reason for your answer. A quadratic model will best fit this data because h of t increases to 9.6 and then decreases. And the data is roughly symmetrical. Part B. Find the appropriate regression function to model these data. To enter the data, hit the stat button and just hit enter. If there's already data in there, Go up to the label at the top and hit clear, enter. So I'm going to do the same thing with L1, clear, enter. So we will type the input values in as L1 and we will type the output values as L2. Once you've typed in the data, it's a good idea to make a scatter plot and just take a look at the distribution. So hit the Y equals button and make sure that this plot is on. Then hit zoom 9, which is the statistical zoom. The data indeed seems quadratic in nature, like a downward facing parabola. To make the regression equation, the curve of best fit, hit the stat button again. This time shift over to the calc menu and we are choosing quadratic regression. So you can scroll down or just hit the number five. So we have our data in L1 and L2, so that's great. I always like to store the regression equation that we find into Y1. So hit VARS, arrow over to the Y VARS menu, hit enter for function, and choose Y1. This will store the regression e equation under y1 in the y equals area. So hit enter two times to calculate the regression equation. And this is it. To write the regression function, just plug in the values of a, b, and c. Be sure to use at least three decimal places. Part C. Using the model found in part B, what is the predicted height of the football in meters at time t equals 1.3 seconds? In other words, what is y at 1.3? We can find this using the calculator. Remember, the regression function is in y1, so we need to find y1 at 1.3. So just hit the vars button and switch over to y vars and hit enter for function, and hit enter for y1. To evaluate y1 at 1.3, just put 1.3 in parentheses next to y1. And that's it. y1 at 1.3 is 9.592. The predicted height of the ball at 1.3 seconds is 9.592 meters. Let's practice our regression skills one more time. Number two, the price of Amazon stock fluctuates over time. On December 6, 2019, one share of Amazon stock was $87.58. The table above gives the price of one share of Amazon stock in dollars for selected times t, the number of months after December 6, 2019. Part A, based on the data presented in the table, would a linear, quadratic, or cubic function be most appropriate to model this data? Give a reason for your answer. Let's start by typing the data into the calculator. Again, hit the stat button and hit enter. 
go up to the label L2 and hit clear enter, then go over to L1 and do the same. Now type your input values in as L1 and your output values as L2. Now let's view the scatter plot by hitting zoom 9. This data looks quadratic again. We see the way it increases with a single maximum and then decreases, and it's roughly symmetric. A quadratic model best fits the data because the data increases to a maximum and then decreases, and the data is roughly symmetric. Part B, find the appropriate regression function to model these data. Hit the stat button and slide over to the calc menu and choose option 5 for quadratic regression. In order to store the regression equation as y1 in the y equals area, move down to here and hit the vars button, y vars, enter for function, and enter for y1. Now hit enter a couple of times until it calculates. So this is the regression equation. Write the regression function by filling in the values of a, b, and c. Be sure to use three decimal place accuracy like this. Part C, using the model found in part B, what is the predicted price of one share of Amazon stock when T equals 16 months? That's April 6, 2021. This question is simply asking us to find Y at 16. To the calculator. On the calculator, Y at 16 will become Y1 at 16. Since we had the calculator store the regression equation as y1. So we need to summon y1 on the screen by hitting vars, y vars, enter, and enter. For y1 at 16, simply put 16 in parentheses next to y1. 177.79. The predicted value of Amazon stock at t equals 16 months is $177.79. Part D, the actual price for one share of Amazon stock on April 6, 2021, t equals 16, was $168.61. What is the residual for this value? Note, the residual value is the actual value minus the predicted value. So in this case, the residual value is $168.61 minus $177.79. The residual value is negative $9.18. The fact that this number is negative indicates that the regression model overestimated the value of the Amazon stock at t equals 16. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.